Hi, and welcome to the kickoff of my very special guest. His name is Upper Local, but I prefer the interview. The producer, the songwriter, the remixer, the DJ, Upper Local. Where did it all start? Oh my god. <laughs> where, where did it all start? <laughs> Oh man, uh, okay. It started, well, when I was a teenager, I guess. I was always uh, into music, having a keyboard playing father. So I was early introduced to all this kind of jazzy, funky, soulful music and been growing ever since, I guess. I grew up with my dad's records and then turned into um, production and remixing and DJing. And here I am today. Well, talking about jazz funk and the soulful background, which bands or singers influenced you at that time? Well, but my, my dad was mainly into jazz and jazz funk, not so much into pure soul or disc or anything like that, but he had quite a few uh, Earth, Wind & Fire records. I think Earth, Wind & Fire was my one of my main influences when it, when it came to the soulful stuff. So as a musician in yourself, when did you start to learn to play the keyboard? Do you play other instruments as well as the keyboards? No, not really. I mean, I'm, if anything, I'm a keyboard player. I'm self-taught, so I'm, I'm I'm not a skilled keyboard player. I can sit in with a jazz band or anything like that. But but I have my own little musical universe where I feel at home and, and I do my own thing. Then I poke around with the with the bass a bit, little bits of guitar, but keyboard is my, my main instrument. Okay, so as far as like you got yourself involved in the more technical side, the production side, when did this start? Well, I, I've always been fascinated and interested in electronic music. So very early on, I was having dreams about having my own synthesizer and studio and all that. So in, in my um, like late teens, I started to save up money and, and buy bits of gear here and there and then started and uh, messing around and having like a simple four track recorder and, and making my own tracks with, with synths and uh, drum machines. Okay, so when did you start getting noticed as, as a producer, a maker of music, and who really noticed your talents? Well, it, it, it my professional career, if you can call it, I was uh, started out when I was uh, I hooked up with this uh, production company that uh, got me a lot of remix work, uh, mainly in Australia for, for the major labels over there. They got me a lot of production and, and remix work. I think that's when I kind of upped my game and realized that this could be something like a, a serious career for me. So when would you say that you really started to get noticed more in Europe, the UK? What would you say really launched your career more to the European market? Well, I was with this production company doing stuff for major labels then the record in industry kind of went belly up around 2000 and uh, that kind of work dried up i started to just do my own thing instead of chasing those projects that, that weren't there anymore i i, I thought screw it, I'm just going to do my own music and, and see what happens. So I, I was heavily into Broken Beat. I was hanging around on Bugs in the Addicts message boards back in like, what was it, 2005 or something like that. Basically did like bootleg remixes and, and posted them up on Bugs in the Addicts board to see what, what people thought. And, and I, I got some really nice uh, feedback and positive attention there. So I just continued to do my own stuff. And then things started rolling and I did this, the Gregory Porter remix that I guess was a big, uh, big moment. Well, talking in the sense of, that, well, well talk, yeah. sorry to cut you, talking about Gregory Porter because there was a little story about that because you remixed and just put it up on SoundCloud, didn't you? If you can give yeah, us a bit yeah. of background around that. Yeah, that, that was just one of those things that I did for myself. I, I had his album and I loved it and, and I used to play it out when I DJed and this, this one track, 1960 Watt, that I always felt that this track could really work in a, in a club environment if, if you put a beat under it and, and uh, tighten up the bass a bit. So I, I just did an edit slash remix rework for, for myself, for my own DJ sets and I just put it up on SoundCloud to, for people to hear it. And then I think the very next day the record label got in contact with me, they had heard it and, and they wanted to use Use it so the rest is kind of history from there so it was one of those lucky coincidences that really turned out well you've currently released three albums haven't you and countless singles and remixes and so forth you did if i remember right in 2005 you started your association again with tokyo records didn't you uh, tokyo dawn records yeah that's it tokyo dawn sorry yeah I've, I've, I've been in contact with mark the label head for quite a while was like just chatting about music uh, online and then they started up Tokyo Dion Records 
started the label, uh, restarted the label, and um, I just came on board and, and did, I think, three albums. I, I did, or f was it four by now? I produced one album for Vocalist Amalia, then I did a solo album, and I released two remix albums for them as well. And a bunch of remixes. So... Pete Opolopo, the DJ, when did he become the person who he is today? When did the DJ start? Well, uh, I've, I've been DJing for quite a while now, but in, in the beginning I was always more into... I mean, I, I come from a production background as a producer. Uh, I, I'm not a DJ turned producer, it's more the other way around. And like lately it's, it's been more and more, been doing more and more like straight up DJ gigs in the beginning I was doing um, like live performances with like a duo or, or um, even played a, in a band many years ago okay. but uh, it's turned more and more into DJing which I love it's awesome um, so I don't mind that at all but it's always nice to have a live element in there as well so sometimes I will bring uh, keyboards or vocoder or something in the DJ booth as well to, to have a live touch so as a DJ then you've performed all over the world and currently you're performing in Dubai now aren't yeah, I have a, a DJ residency here at the Four Seasons Hotel, so I'm 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 been here for like six months now, I think it is. So, have you, apart from Dubai and Europe, have you toured the UK as well? Have you performed DJ wise in the UK as well? I haven't DJed in the UK. I, I've done live performances, so it's way overdue now. I, I've I've had a few requests for this summer, see if any of them come come through. But yeah, it's time to get back to the UK and this time do some DJ. Okay, I know talking about DJing, we're both going to probably see each other for the first time in September, in which you're going to be debuting at the Vocal Booth weekend. Are you looking forward to that? Oh yeah, I, I really am. I've heard so, so much good stuff about the Vocal Booth weekender that... I, I really, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so I can tell that Mr. Ward, he is quite a, a bubbly character when it comes to certain things and meticulous as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I'm, I've heard from other people that have played there that it, it's, it's really a place for, for music lovers. People really appreciate and know music there. So that's going to be amazing to, to be part of that finally. As a remix, and I'm going back to your remix work now, you've done countless projects before. Omar, Sunburst Band, The Real People, Chocolate, Sandy Barber, Ferry Ultra, Gwen McRae, Azimuth, Mr. V, Shay Soul, Lisa Sutter, Sasha Williamson, and the list still continues with Gabriel Pass. Where do you find the time to do all this work? You currently have about four singles out right now via various digital track source and iTunes and that. How does it feel for you having all this product out at the same time? Well, it's kind of funny that so much stuff happened to come out at the same time now because I mean, a lot of those uh, remixes, I, I did them, I think some of them like almost two years ago okay. and it's just a coincidence that it all ended up coming out the same month but yeah I've, I've been really busy and, and I love doing it so I'm, I'm constantly working uh, and remixing but you never know when, when the project's going to be released so all of a sudden everything comes out in the same month but it's just one of those things Well the month of May is a really busy month for you because you're about to release an album on Z Records aren't you? Yes absolutely it's going to be the um, album is called Superconductor and it's been working on it for a few years now but I'm, I'm really happy that it's finally out I'm really excited about it okay so how long did the project take for you to bring it together uh, it's been like I said on and off for, for a few years now but it's always like that when you're working with a lot of other people and, and other busy people that need their time to, to work on the tracks I mean I'm, I have a lot of future vocalists on there and also myself being busy with the remixes on the side and DJing and all that so making a whole album take, takes a lot of time just out of curiosity who would you can you name some of the featured artists on the album yeah sure we have a lot of amazing vocalists on there I'm so happy that they're on there. We have Colonel Red, Sasha Williamson, Eric Dillard, uh, Paul Randolph, Pete Simpson, uh, Diane Charlemagne. Wow, you, I mean, you've just run quite a few good names there, just to mention, yeah. you know. So, when can we see the album released? The CD release is the uh, 25th of May. 
and then digital will be, I think, a week later. Okay. Can we see you performing the album? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll be featuring in my, my DJ sets for sure. I'm still uh, here in Dubai until mid-June. Then after that, I have quite a few day, dates lined up where I'll be playing around the world. So I'm really looking forward to get out and play and to feature the album. Okay, then, Pete. All I can say, then, is that Pete... <laughs> That's right. All I can say, Peter, DJ Apolopo, it is time for you to become a radio DJ here in the Kitten Club. The next track on the show from your album. Hey everybody, this is Opolopo, and next up is the track The Best featuring Colonel Red from my new album on Z Records. The album is called Superconductor, and it's out 25th of May.
the new Metropolitan Independent Freeform Radio Service, SonicStreamRadio.net. Hey everyone, this is Opal Opal. Next up is the track Candy Coated Perfection featuring Sasha Williamson. It's off my new album Superconductor coming out on Z Records on the 25th of May.
the new Metropolitan Independent Freeform Radio Service, SonicStreamRadio.net. You are now on the guest list for the VIP lounge at the Kitten Club. 